You've tried to make yourself bigger by doing a few push-ups and chin-ups, like has just told us, but it hasn't worked. Um, also, I want to know about the spray tan and um, how you've trimmed your face up to. Um, basically, mate, I've uh, had a good summer in the sun and I'm looking brown. No fake tan there. Um, I don't actually need to do weights in case you didn't know. I've got rather large pots. You look really skinny and you look sick, mate. Um, I feel sick being around you. I feel sick looking at your arms, your chest. You have no, you have no body. My good looks ruined, so yeah, that was probably a little bit hard to deal with. But at the same time, you know, it's it's got me to where I'm today. Like, um, you know, these little things that happened to you, like at the time, looked big, but now looking back at it, it was just it's only made me stronger. It's made me work harder to get what I want. Have you learned a few things about yourself this year? Um, not really. Maybe that I break a little bit easily at times. Um, but no, it's been uh, it's been frustrating at times. But you know, then again, um, there's lots of boys that have had years like this, and you know, there's always next year. Lewis, I'm giving you a six. Nice broad shoulders, great look. Uh, lost a few points for the ripping jeans, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's actually funny. All year I was talking talking myself up, going, "I'm gonna kick the goal this year. You just wait. I want to save the day one day. It's coming." And uh, I've come out. <laughs> few minutes to go against, against Carlton and um, one just fell onto my boot, even though I you know, really skillfully pushed the bloke out of the way, just dropped through all these players and just kicked an, an amazing goal, probably the best of the year as well, so saved the day as always. Masto's running really well, he's uh, a <laughs> bit of a stick figure at the moment though, he doesn't have a muscle on him, so hopefully he can uh, do some weights over Chrissy. Oh, Jennifer Aniston, she's... I was a big fa Friends fan, so, yeah, she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the one for me, Nick? Thanks, man. Mate, I just think you're gorgeous. Ten from me, with the X's and the O's. Thanks, Mr. McGinnity. Having a bit of a break up with Eva and moving out of the house. Um, was there any any fights or is there anything behind that story? Nah, I just think it was a good decision on their behalf. Evo's a little bit boring to live with, <laughs> a little bit high maintenance. Um, I probably hate to live with Yoey. He's just intense, full on, terrible chat. Yoey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mate, who's come back looking like having a massive pre-season? Who's come back in fabulous shape? Um, just the usual culprits, really. Matty Prittis always comes back in really good shape. Um, don't think he's got much of a life outside footy. Just we, like... we thought that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was round the wrong way, mate. Colt days, ran 100 metres the wrong way. That was, that was a kiss. Righto, Ginner. Um, used to have a wicked mullet, and then you cut it off. And we've heard it's because you wanted to impress your girlfriend or your girlfriend didn't like it. Is that the truth? Incorrect. That's a blatant lie, mate. We don't like lies here. So just tell us the truth. Was it your decision or was it hers? <laughs> it was hers. <laughs> yeah, a few fake tans. Dale Zeal's always one. Um, loves getting to the solarium. Louis Stevenson, this whole time, everyone thinks it's real, but it's not. His artwork, mate. I can't really talk about it, but um, because I, I, I rate it. But what do you think? I think I can draw better than that, mate. Yours isn't aren't too flash either. <laughs> uh, you can tell we've been discussing on the show. You've kicked an absolute ripper of a goal on the weekend, mate. What's going on? It hasn't been nominated for goal of the week. What are your thoughts? Ah, uh, yeah, a bit flat about that, I guess, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, you can always chalk me in for a one or two, but um, <laughs> yeah, she was. Uh, yeah, it was one of my better ones, I think. Yeah, I guess I got to, we got to work out who's playing first. You know, if Cyril comes in, I'd be putting my hand up for that. I love playing on him. He's he's a, such a good player and such a, a hard challenge. But um, I'm not even sure if he's playing yet, and I'll just, I'll just have to wait and see. His name's Neville, and he's two years old now, so he's just a little boy. Have you ever pondered getting opportunity elsewhere, Paddy, or are you? As in? Like no. going to another club, um, maybe looking at, at somewhere where you might be sort of automatic in the, in the best 22 or do you think you can work your way into that position here? Um, no, it hasn't, it hasn't really crossed my mind. I don't really think I'm a player um, that too many clubs would jump at, but I haven't 
really um, put too much thought into it. You know, I love being at West Coast and I'm a Perth boy and always supported West Coast. I'm amongst great friends and I'm still with my family. I, you know, I love being here and I wouldn't really be too keen to go anywhere else.